welcome to Vlogmas Day 22. I am just rolling out our sugar cookie dough so we could do some decorating today. I will tell you, I am not a cookie decorator. Just getting them all cut out. The oven is preheating to 325. When you take this dough out of the fridge, you're going to be concerned that it is too like stiff because you've chilled it. Just let me tell you, as you roll it out, it becomes so easy to work with. We're going to get our eyebrows done. We're gonna do some last minute shopping. I'm gonna pick up Steven's anniversary gift because I have a great idea for him that he will completely not suspect. So this sheet has a dozen on. I'm gonna go ahead and put those in. So I got about 41 cookies out of that batch of dough. Um, which I think is great. A couple of you asked where my cookbook holder was from. And this is it. It is beautiful. And it is from Three Fois Pajour. It's a French company. I will leave it linked down below. I will let you know that I had to keep going back and back and back until they finally had it in stock. I got a couple other things from them as well. I also picked up this awesome trivet which I think is just beautiful. We use it all the time. And as you can see, my gingerbread house is still not put together. I'm gonna get some coffee in me, get ready, continue baking these, and yeah, we'll get moving eventually. This guy is just hanging out on the couch. Hi, you. Hi. Hi, good morning. Good morning. Oh. It's the cutest doggy. The cherry Nespresso pods are the best. Let's go open some advent calendars. Do you want to open them with me? Indian rose and almond oil. Excited about that. Day 22 of David's Teas. Candy Cane Crush. We got Vanilla Incensi. I might like this one. And we got Jasmine. And I feel like I'm breaking every fire code. Jasmine's probably my least favorite diptyque candle. All right, Lush. So this is called Luxury Lush Pud, or Luxury Lush Pud. Um, it is really heavy in lavender. It smells really calming. I'm excited. This gift. We ordered him a $200 dog toy. If he doesn't like it, I don't know what we'll do. We didn't really have a ton of ideas for him this year. Because I talk about him like he's a kid, but we didn't have a ton of ideas for him this year. So we settled on this thing called the Go Bone and we'll see if he likes it. To head out today, I have a thermal on this high neck hoodie from Nordstrom's, a Bubba's, and then just some cuff jeans. And if I could recommend any shoes, it would be the Hunter Chelsea boots. So Marnie's been texting me, a couple of you have been messaging me, we're like 30 away from um, 20,000 subscribers and everyone keeps texting or messaging me saying today's the day, but it'll happen when it happens and I'm gonna try not to freak out when it does. A return is made. I'm so happy, that coat has been like sitting in my house for like a dog's age. Like it was time, <laughs> who says that anymore? Danielle recently said it and, <laughs> 
It just makes me laugh every time I accidentally say it or someone says it. It's been a dog's age. Uh. Yes, I'm so glad all of you love Danielle. If you were following me on Instagram, uh, we had a night out last night, but we were out to like, I know it doesn't sound wild and crazy, but we were out to like 11. Danielle and I have not seen 11 o'clock in a dog's age. All of you also commented on how beautiful all of my friends were last night, and it's true. They are stunning. I like was looking around the table, I'm like, you're all flawlessly gorgeous. Like, how is that possible? It should be illegal to have that much prettiness at one tape. Marnie just texted me, um, Miss Gold Girl here on YouTube, to, <laughs> to shout, you are seven away from 20,000. We're at a red light, so take pause. But she just sent me this picture of her circling the 19,993. My goodness, I'm so glad I looked at what time my appointment was because Based on the weather, I'm going to get there right on time. Another red light. Time to take pause and check to see what the number is. 9,998. And I just got another red light. I think it's the universe telling me. <laughs> oh my gosh. I can already feel myself starting to cry. <laughs> it's going to happen at a red light. And it is. I am completely at a red light. If it happens at this moment, based off the conversation yesterday, how, and it just happened, I'm at a red light and it just happened, we have hit 20,000 subscribers at a red light. I wanted it to happen before my eyebrow appointment, so I didn't miss it. And I didn't miss it. <laughs> Mari, Mari just wrote, you're over 20K. Oh my gosh. I'm overwhelmed. And that car just honked at me because that friend is in a hurry. But little do they know that I was having a moment in the car. So they just need to relax for a second. How crazy that I got stuck at a red light the moment it hit 20k, when yesterday we talked about like taking in the moment, the universe is a wild and crazy place, my friend. And it's just so crazy. It's so crazy. All right, we just got to Brow Diva, so I'm going to head in and get my eyebrows done. So I am just leaving the Brow Diva. Um, and Deanna, the brow diva, did my eyebrows. A, she is the most glorious and lovely person. And then little did I know is I know her daughter Chelsea because Chelsea has done my eyebrows before. And Chelsea was there. And they have a little mini dog that looks like Bubba's named Harley. But the service is amazing. The place is amazing. And then not only did she do my eyebrows, but then Chelsea tinted them for me. And then they shared the brow diva brow mascara with me. Um, in the color Catherine, I believe. Yes, in the color Catherine. That matches my hair color really well. But look how good the tint and the shape. Oh, they look so good. I'm thrilled with them. I am leaving a store called Two Zen Chicks. Um, and I didn't have my phone or anything to record. But the lady checking me out um, is 65 years old and looks amazing for her age. I would have never dreamt she was 65. And she and I started talking and I was like, oh my gosh, I cannot believe you're 65 years old. And she said to me, she goes, I am just so, I get that a lot, but I am so blessed because I have just had a lot of close calls in my life. And the fact that I'm still here is just like a gift and a blessing and I take nothing for granted. And I was like, gosh the universe and I said I actually have a YouTube channel and yesterday I was taking I was talking about taking a pause in a moment and remembering like how lucky you are in the midst of everything and then she went on to tell me a story she goes my father died and we buried him Christmas Eve so Christmas has never been a happy time for me and what I've learned to realize is because it's not a happy time for me doesn't mean it's not a happy time for others and it's like no excuse to not like be kind to people and treat them warmly. And I find the more I do it, the happier I become. And I got tears in my eyes. I said, can I give you a hug? We ended up hugging and just having this beautiful moment. And 
that's why you take the time to talk to people and that's why you take the time to connect as human beings and if there's nothing from this channel is like if you don't take the moment to acknowledge someone's presence and be there with them and ask them questions and listen like that moment would have never happened and her and I both leave feeling better and happier and wanting to do more work and just as I went to leave she goes you keep doing what you're doing and you keep doing it with your voice and she said you are doing great work for humans and it was just this incredible moment that like I thought I'd show you what I picked up at the two zen ladies the little store I stopped at the first thing I picked up no surprise I got this hand poured soy candle um and it's the oh Christmas tree one mmm and it smells really good then I have heard about this company and I never tried anything of theirs but it is the Napa soap company and they had this beautiful canister and wooden scoop of bath salts and this is the citrus blend and it just smells insane and I thought like the little wooden scoop was also so cute and then lastly what I picked up is from the company Earth Lux and it is a Himalayan salt scrub bar so what you do with this is you get it a little wet to get a good slip on it and you just rub it all over your body and it promotes really good clear healthy skin helps exfoliate helps clean out pores um, they say it helps with cellulite, it helps with anti-aging, um, they're supposed to be just really great. I've even heard people using the Himalayan sea salt bars as an antiperspirant. The way I made this icing is three cups of powdered sugar, six to eight tablespoons, you just have to fill it out, you want it to be like a good glaze, and then food coloring and almond extract. Here are the cookies, they are beautiful, but I cannot decorate and pipe and make them look beautiful, nor do I have the time for that. I'm literally just going to dip each cookie down and then lay it on the drying rack. Now I'm going to take some white crystals and sprinkle over the top. For this set, I'm going to add some silver sprinkles just to make these ones look a little different. I've just decorated about 40 some cookies in less than five minutes. I'm just gonna let these drip. As you can see, all that excess icing just drips off and then they stay true to the shape of the cookie. And I mean, they're not gorgeous or perfect, but they are quick and easy and delicious. So I'm done with those. <laughs> I didn't realize what that would look like. I am so annoyed. I was making gingerbread cookies and I've been filming for like what I thought was 30 minutes and I wasn't filming at all. So I'll leave the recipe link below and we still have a lot of work to do with them. But I think no gingerbread cookie is good until you add some fresh orange zest. This is zest off of one really big navel orange. I'm just going to add that in now. And I'm mixing until combined. My recipe is from Martha Stewart. I'm going to leave it all linked down below. I'm gonna get it in some saran wrap and let it chill. So I thought I'd show you all that I have every single card hanging that you have all sent. And I spend evenings looking back through them, but this got so full. You'll see how many are actually layered on top of each other that I ended up, hey, that's your Christmas gift. What's in there? What's in there? I ended up doing another one over here to start adding cards. <laughs> so now this hallway is literally like the hallway of cards and I absolutely love it. It makes my heart so happy. Is your heart so happy? Is your heart so happy? They love you too. They talk about you in the card. Do you wanna go outside? Do you wanna go outside?
Sometimes you just need to dance and celebrate. We've hit 20,000 today. Ah! Here is to 20,000 subscribers and to the next 20. I will leave this like I leave all of them. Take care of yourself, take care of others, and be kind. Kindness is free. Give it to everyone. Until next time, my friends, which is tomorrow. Bye-bye. No, I can't wait for the weekend. Waking up next to you. We'll be sharing our secrets. Making dreams come true. Let's have a toast for the lovers.